going to be talking about video playback in iTunes. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is CQ Way Weekly, and let's talk about iTunes and Apple for a second. There are many great and bad things, yeah, you'll probably write them all down below, about iTunes. And many can agree that because of Apple, though, and iTunes, we can now purchase songs, not just albums, like we used to do, across a multitude of different vendors who have also taken up the practice. We're capable of purchasing and renting TV shows and movies as well. But why am I talking about that? Because this problem I'm going to be talking about doesn't actually affect audio. And believe me, it's a very useful feature, in theory. So useful that YouTube, Netflix, and many other places have adopted this feature, and it's syncing playback across multiple devices. That means you can take one device, put it down, and switch to another device, and it's a novel feature that in its normal use scenario works flawlessly. But have you ever had choppy playback of video in iTunes? You are not alone. Even I experienced it on my video editing rig, which is hilarious because it's not your everyday type of rig. And the solution to this was so simple to figure out. A little bit of Googling and you can figure out that the problem and the solution are one and the same. The only downside is that you'll lose the ability to drop your iPhone or iPad, move to a computer or an Apple TV after the fact because you will have to actually scroll to where you were in a movie or at a TV show. So that means you have to kind of remember where you were. But it's a very simple fix for a problem that actually exists across many different versions of iTunes. So what you do is you go into your iTunes client, go to edit, go to preferences, and then you go to the store tab and deselect the sync playback information across devices and voila. You don't even have to restart your computer. It simply works right then and there. My only theory is that they're trying to sync the playback at such a high frequency that it is interfering with video playback to begin with, and too bad we can't adjust that. Probably a feature upgrade to do, Apple, fix your iTunes, come on. So the solution is easy, you don't have to upgrade your computer, and all you have to do is uncheck one box, and it actually explains what the hell is going on. So if you like this episode, like it, otherwise dislike it, otherwise share with those you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly, become a patron today, and patrons get these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else. Thanks for watching.